What is up you guys, thanks for watching my channel once again. I'm trying out a new camera setup that I got going on right now, so let me know how it looks. But yeah, today I'm gonna be doing a recent pickups or just kind of like a haul video of some stuff that I've picked up in the past few months. I've got some vintage pieces, I have a bunch of shoes, and uh, yeah, I don't wanna spoil too much, but let's just get right into it for you guys. The first thing I'll talk about is clothes, and the first thing is going to be this vintage shots aviator jacket that I got. I think it's like from the 60s or the 70s. Got it for like 40 bucks at a thrift, like a vintage thrift shop and it's absolutely amazing. It has so many awesome details with like the patina and the fading in the back of the leather. Um, yes, some of the pockets are completely destroyed so the pockets aren't very functional. Um, but, sorry, functional. Other than that slight hiccup with the pockets, this thing fits amazing it sits right at the right spot that i like for jackets a little bit cropped it's not too long so it is a keeper for me the next jacket i think a lot of you have seen if you don't it's definitely on my instagram and people love it also on my tiktok um by the way go follow both of them it is one of my favorite jackets that i've ever owned in my life and it is this one right here it is a quilted jacket from like the 30s or 40s the pattern on this is just absolutely amazing. It's like a pinwheel type thing. It's a quilt that was turned into a jacket from an Etsy designer named WB Tam. So if you like designers like Bodhi or any of those other designers out there that take old textiles and turn them into garments like this, definitely check out WB Tam. She's on Etsy. I'll have a link in the description for you guys below so you can check her out. Um, it's at a fraction of the price and the fit of these is just amazing. It's boxy, it's not too long, it's not too short. They're just amazing, so definitely check it out. The next jacket is also from WB Tam. This one is a custom jacket that I had her make me actually after I got that one. It is from uh, old vintage coffee bags. They're burlap sacks and you can tell that you know it's got a ton of different patterns and graphics on it. This coffee bag is from Rwanda. You can see like everything right here. You can see all the details and the numbers and everything. So it's just amazing. I had her make it in the same exact uh, pattern as the orange one that you just saw with the quilt. And it's just, everything is just so nice. It's so amazing. It runs a little expensive just because it is a custom piece, but if you have fabric and you have stuff already, you can hit her up and you can send it to her and you guys can talk about a price there. But yeah, just another one right here. And the last piece of clothing is just gonna be this cool little sweater vest from Zara. It was on sale for $9, so I figured, why not? It's coming up into the spring and summer times, and I would just be wearing this with a t-shirt. And I wanted something that has a little bit of a pop of color. I could wear this underneath a suit, I could wear it underneath a jacket, I could wear it underneath a coat. There's so many things that you could do. You can even just wear it on its own with a pair of trousers, and you would look fantastic. Um, so yeah, just a basic, pink sweater. Moving into shoes, we have these beautiful horse bit loafers in a pebble grain leather from Blackstock and Weber. I don't know about you, but I see their ads on Instagram all the time, and I've heard so many testimonials from other people who I follow on Instagram saying that these things are amazing, they're better than Gucci, they're better than uh, any of the other high-end designer loafers, and I have to say, I 100% agree with them. These things are amazing. I got them in the lug sole right here, so it gives me about an inch of uh, height. Um, but the thing I liked about these the most, um, A, it comes with a padded insole. It has a very, very cushiony insole. It's not like just a leather footbed. And B, when it comes to the leather itself, it is very thick, but it's also very supple. When I got my Wee Junes from uh, GH Bass, I was very disappointed that the leather was terrible quality. It was light, it was flimsy, and it felt like paper. It just felt like it was gonna rip. These, it feels like a leather jacket, but on your foot, and I absolutely love it, and they look great as well. Next shoe is just this little clog looking thingy. I don't even know what type of shoe design to call this, but it's from Zara. So it's not, you're not getting the highest of high quality things, but you're gonna get a fashionable shoe um, that'll kind of look good and last you a decent amount of time, but it's not gonna be anything of high quality like a designer shoe. 
However, for the price that I'm getting, you get a very um, fashion forward, you get a very, you know, kind of like modern type of shoe. It's got like this uh, brushed leather effect to it and it also has a huge stacked heel as well. So it's just kind of like a brown dress shoe that has a little bit of that different detail to it that doesn't really look like a brown derby or anything like that. It has its own little silhouette to it and I think it just looks pretty dang cool. I just realized I have a lot of brown things right now. I got a lot of brown recently apparently. And last but not least, my new favorite boot of all time going to be these from Toga Virilis. I just call it Toga. Um, what makes these so special to me is if you can see it on the Chelsea part of the elastic, it has a, an amazing detail. It's got like spikes and it almost kind of looks like flames. And on the back, they have awesome details with silver embellishing. It's actually hammered into the sole itself. So um, they have so many different shoes and like loafers and dress shoes and other things where they utilize silver in the design. And I think that is so freaking cool. So when I saw these on sale um, for like 60% off, I was extremely lucky to get them. And it's in a very dark, sexy chocolate colorway. I think the silhouette is amazing. They look absolutely beautiful on feet. And I'm very happy that I finally got them. It only took me four months to get them from Essence. I bought these in like November or December or something like that. It took way too long but I'm happy I finally got them. Last but not least is this Noguchi uh, knockoff table. I got it for like $200 at an estate sale, but it looks good in this living room with everything in here. So that's just another piece that I got that's new for the living room. And that's it you guys. So, you know, it's not the craziest of hauls, but I'm trying to kind of refine my style and just make it something that I truly um, am happy and proud of. So these things definitely reflect at least the current mood that I'm in and the kind of current uh, vibe that I'm going for when it comes to my aesthetic, my look, my style, and what I wear. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know the videos have been kind of sporadic and stuff like that, but um, check out my TikTok and check out my Instagram if you guys actually want things that are on the daily because I post daily things on TikTok and daily things on Instagram. Those are the places that I'm able to have a lot more fun and I can get out a lot more content every single day because I don't have to worry about editing this video that's gonna take me a few hours. A TikTok takes me like five minutes. So check it out over there if you like. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next time here on YouTube. Okay, bye.